Welcome to the TechnologyCloset.com and our Quick Shots. In this Quick Shot, we're going to give you an overview of two functions built into Windows 8. One is Refresh, the other is Reset. A Refresh would be used if you find that your computer is starting to run slow. Usually it's because you have a lot of applications installed and that you've uninstalled many and added more and it's starting to bog down. One of the ways that you can make sure that it's not your Windows files, the actual operating system files, is to do a refresh. A refresh will not remove any personal data, applications, or settings from the computer. And it will reinstall Windows. That's a good thing. That's the first thing you should do if you're having problems. If the second thing is that your system is intermittently locking up or you just want to be able to give uh, your computer away to uh, say your daughter, your son at school, but you want to set it up as a brand new system without having to go through a reinstallation of any operating system, you should then do the reset function. And I'll show you both of these and how you get to them. First, let's take a look at reset. Let's go to the charm bar, settings, change PC settings. Under PC settings, select the general selection. On the right side of the screen, slide down until you see remove everything and reinstall Windows. They tell you here that if you want to recycle your PC or to start over completely, this is what you do. This is a last resort if you're having problems. It will, and I must underscore this, it will erase all of your data. You want to make sure you have your data backed up. If you don't and you're not sure, then you want to try the one above it called Refresh. That's the safest one without destroying any of your data. It will, in effect, give you a semi-new installation of Windows 8 without having to lose your files. All you do is simply, in the case of remove or refresh, is you just simply get started and follow the prompts. In the case of the uh, refresh, it tells you what will happen. Your files and personalization settings won't be changed. Your PC settings will be changed back to their defaults. Default settings are those settings that were initially set up when your computer was created or when the Windows 8 software was installed. Apps from the Windows Store will be kept. If you already have a Windows app installed and uh, you, miss, you, you delete it or re uninstall it by mistake. As long as you have an account, uh, email account with uh, Microsoft, you'll be able to get it back. Apps installed from disks or websites will be removed. This is important. If you have applications that were installed by diskette, excuse me, CD or DVD, not a diskette, then these will be removed. And the associated files with those uh, disks will be removed. And that's because, in many cases, things that you install are the things that will slow you down or cause your system to uh, act uh, in a manner not used to uh, what you saw when you first got it. The nice thing about the refresh, it will list a remove, uh, of all the removed apps and it'll be saved to your desktop so that you can go back and reinstall those disks and or website applications. Now we're going to cancel out of here and we're going to go to the uh, remove everything and reinstall Windows and show you that screen. Get started again similar. We also have the next button but we're not ready to do anything with that yet. Reset your PC. This is important. All your personal files and applications will be removed. Your PC settings will be changed back to their defaults. In effect this will be the way you got your Windows 8 when you first got your computer or when you first installed Windows 8. This would be a last resort. If you have your data backed up, you should be able to retrieve data 
uh, after doing this. If you do not have a backup, you will lose everything except Windows. You will have a working Windows system. Well, that concludes this quick shot. Please visit our website at the uh, technologycloset.com website and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time.